Do you need to get rid of your old car and you don't know how? Call Alex at 956-207-8125. That number again is 956-207-8125. Okay, fight fans, we are here with big man, Shua Pedro de Souza. How are you feeling, man? Feeling great, feeling awesome. Awesome, man. Let's recap your fight February 24th against the Mexican Flash, Javier Castillo. What are your thoughts as you reflect back on it? Uh, it was a fight that I was really looking forward to, one that I was training really hard for. And when it came to the day of it, you know, I just, I got in there and I, I did my best. It was something that I was really looking forward to winning because my first fight, it didn't go as well. So this was my redemption round, you know, my redemption fight. My first fight was my only and last loss. From now on, it's going to be Puro wins. And it, it started with Javier Castillo. Gotcha, man. I saw your emotion when they said you were the winner. Yeah. Were, tell me what's going through your mind, man, when they were saying your name. Well, um, <laughs> I was fighting not just for me. I was fighting for my family and all that good stuff. You know, like every boxer out there, I was fighting not just for myself, but for those around me that love me and was cheering me on. But also, I was fighting for not just one, not two, but three countries. I was fighting for Texas, Mexico, and Texas, my bad. Yeah, USA. Got you, man. Mexico and Brazil. Mm -hmm. You know, I was I'm born in Brazil. I live here in USA, and I love. I go to a wonderful Mexican gym full of Mexican coaches who teach me the best, and that's why I was able to win the fight. Speaking of which, man, you. Um was the game plan to use the jab effectively and not let him get his shots off? Yeah, the original plan, you know, work him, box him, um, keep my distance, try to keep my distance for as long um, as I could throughout each round. Obviously, uh, at some point, I ended up hurting my hand a little bit, but I was able to recover from that. You know, during the fights, I, I mainly used my left. Whenever I could, I tossed in that right. But I tried doing everything from a distance. Gotcha, man. We talked about this off camera. How long were you out of the gym for? Yeah, for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, my hand was messed up. But mm -hmm. after a week or two, I was back in the game. I've been ever since, you know, keeping my weight, getting ready for my next fight. Um, hopefully, I can get one in August. And you guys can see me up in the ring again, getting ready to mess up these guys again. Gotcha, man. That, that's what I was going to ask you when you're in your next fight. So you're aiming toward August? Hopefully, that, that's the game plan right now. We're going to see if we can get a fight for me in August so we can, you know, see me in action again, see me beat somebody up and hopefully win another fight. Got you, man. I've asked this to all the fighters here. I asked to Brian and Jose. Talk about the different styles here, man. You have a bunch of professionals here, some top solid amateurs in the nation. Mm -hmm. Just getting that different type of sparring, man. Talk about that. Well, in my case, it's pretty unique. You know, I'm not saying I'm the best fighter out there, nothing like that. It's because a lot of people here in the Valley are short. And especially for their age, usually people are around five, four to five, six. Some of them up to five, eight. The tallest I've seen usually is five, ten. Mm -hmm. um, but in my case, due to my young age and being above six feet tall, I have to find good spark partners who can Patch, pack the punch, who can help me um, practice my distance and I keep up with me. So I usually tend to, I tend to, I tend to spar with older gentlemen. I tend to practice my reach a lot. I, I do have a different training from everybody else. Be, because of my height, you, you, won't, you won't really see me working on the inside unless I have to. That's usually a plan B thing. So... But, but uh, you know, I'm always practicing everything. Even though I excel at uh, long reach, even though I'm awesome at long reach, I'm still, you know, ready for that inside work, outside work, middle work, anything like that. Gotcha, man. Before I let you go, man, anybody want to say hi to any shout-outs you want to give to anybody? Oh, obviously you. <laughs> you know, you, you've been there for all my fights. You know, you, in front of me, you do awesome work. You do really good stuff. I'm, I'm really happy about it. And but also my coaches, Roland Boxer Gym, um, RGV Elite, they they've been helping us. They've had our backs for a long time. You know all the gyms here in the valley, they've helped us. You know, shout out to every gym, Spartan, Rose Boxy, RGV, um, K 
all of them there's too many to count but also to all of those that have had my back brazil here mexico everybody who's been cheering me on big man thank you so much for your time man thank you